In this video, I will quickly discuss how I solved a computer problem that I had. Basically, I installed some new RAM. As soon as I booted it up, it gave me an option to revert to some old settings or keep my current settings. I hit uh, keep current settings, but it wasn't registering on my keyboard. So right now, the keyboard and mouse do not work in the BIOS, but they do work once Windows boots. So I went to the computer store close to my house and they have a recycling program. I got this PS2 keyboard. Uh, there's a reason it was in the recycling. It does not work. So I'm going to toss that back into the recycling. So I ordered this on Amazon, which is a PS2 mouse, PS2 meaning personal system 2 port, designed in Germany. Pretty amazing, I guess. But a low price of about $10 Canadian. You can get a keyboard or the mouse or you can get an adapter for a USB keyboard and mouse, obviously wired to work in your PS2 input. So I went with the, the mouse option because it appeared to be the cheapest and it arrived within one day. So at this point in time, no matter what I do, I can't enter the motherboard BIOS directly on startup. See here, I'll, I'll turn it on. It says press delete. I'll press delete about 400 times on the keyboard and nothing's going to happen. Now I acknowledge this is a USB wireless keyboard. I've also tried this with a wired keyboard and a wired mouse with the same results. So you can see it went straight to the Windows load up screen and did nothing. So right now I'm going to plug the PS2 mouse into the computer once I got it booted up. And to get into the BIOS, because I don't have the keyboard, I'm going to go to the advanced start options, hit restart now. It's going to take a second. If you're having the same problem, one other thing you could check is to ensure your drivers are installed for your mouse and keyboard. So I need to get into the BIOS though. So I'll go to troubleshoot, go to advanced options, and then UEFI firmware settings. And this is going to allow your computer to boot straight into the motherboard BIOS on startup and you don't have to hit anything. Obviously, if I had a PS2 keyboard, I wouldn't need to do this. I could just hit the delete and it should work because generally speaking, things plugged into the PS2 port are the default and they're going to work pretty much no matter what. So you can see I'm into the motherboard BIOS right now. If I move the wireless mouse around, try and get a shot of this, nothing moves. But if I take this PS2 mouse now and move that around, you can see the little pointers moving. The keyboard also does nothing at this point, so I have to use the PS2 mouse to do everything. And once I'm in the BIOS, there's a few things I'm gonna look for. So in the advanced settings, I'm going to go to the USB configuration and ensure the legacy USB support is indeed enabled. In my case, it already was. I'm gonna go to the advanced Windows OS configuration and I'm going to disable Windows 7 because I'm not using Windows 7 and I'm going to enable the Windows 8 10 support because I'm using Windows 10 at this time and the other thing I'm going to do is disable fast boot so fast boot was automatically enabled I'm going to take that off so USB config the fast boot and that Windows thing and now I'm going to save changes and reboot. So I'm going to get into the BIOS again. And now you can see my wireless keyboard is working in BIOS. So I could actually manipulate the BIOS without the PS2 mouse doing anything. And here's the PS2 mouse and here's my USB mouse. So that allowed everything to start working again. I'll disconnect the PS2 mouse. So obviously this isn't going to work for you if you don't have a PS2 port. The colors on the PS2 port, purple is usually keyboard, green is mouse. For whatever reason, the PS2 port on my motherboard is red. So I don't know what all that means. So I'm going to keep the mouse, put it in a safe spot. I'm not going to get rid of it in case I have this problem again. Anyway, hope this helps somebody. Thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.